up your name, God, to thank you. My Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we worship you, Lord. We welcome your presence, God. We bring the blood of Jesus over this periscope. I pray for our family, the family of periscope. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bleed the blood 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 of Jesus to your life, to your family, to your children, and to your husband, and to your, to your wives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray and break, break every power that is working against you. Every arrow that has been fired to your life, I command that arrow to go back to the sender. Every sickness and infirmities that is afflicting your life, I am commanding them to be melted by fire in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will raise up a standard of the Holy Spirit and fight your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power that created heaven and the heart, Fall upon your life and disgrace your Goliath and disgrace your Lord in the mighty name of Jesus and destroy Naaman that and dis, and dis, and disgrace and, and disgrace Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father. In the name of Jesus, this morning, as we are coming before your presence to lift up your name, God, to worship you, God, my Father. There is no any other God than you, God, my Father. All things are possible to those who believe in him. God, my Father, there is no impossibility in you, God. There is nothing too difficult, God, that you cannot, you cannot do. You are a God. That we worship you this morning. We lift up your name God. We thank you my father. Anyone who is going through some stuff. Anyone who is going through hardship. Anyone that is being attacked. And being tortured by the devil. The whole night. All the pains that you went through. I am commanding them to be melt. I cast them out of your life in Jesus name. I pray that God goes to fire. Let it fall upon you and destroy anything that is working against your life, that is working against your health, that is working against your finances, by the power in the blood of Jesus. My Father, I want to thank you this morning. I want to lift up your name, God. I thank you, Lord. I commit each and every one of us into your hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you once again. Welcome. I welcome everyone. I welcome newcomers. I welcome everyone of you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. God bless you so much. I am going to talk to you. The subject called powerful deliverance, con confessions, and personalized, and personalized them. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. We are going to look at the scripture from the book of Psalms 31, verse 2. The book of Psalms 31 verse 2. The Bible says, Bow down thee here to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong lock for an house of defense to save me. David is asking God, Bow down thee here to deliver me. Speedily. David needs speedily deliverance. David needed speedy deliverance. You need speedy deliverance. You need the speedy deliverance of your problem. That problem you are facing. You need speed recovery. You need speed financial breakthrough. You need a speedy job. You need anything speedily. This is the word of God. Be thou my strong lock for an house of defense to save me. David Pray speedily recovery. For the Lord is your strong tower. Is your strong lock. That will save you. In the name of Jesus. That is how you can. 
pray the, 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 the deliverance confessions and personalize them. You personalize the scripture. You memorize the scripture. You claim this scripture. You call upon your father. You need a speedily, a speedily recover. You need speedily financial breakthrough. You need speedily revival in your heart. Anything that is sitting on you, that you have been praying for a long time, you need speedily marriage. When, 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 when Isaac was going to get married, Sarah sent his servant to look for, for Isaac, a wife. The servant went and asked God, speedily, Father, program this woman to come. There is a speed you can ask your father to do a speedily for you, for you to recover, to get what you are looking for. When you memorize the scripture like this, you personalize them and you make it personal confession. My sister, Dr. Rinda, Rindi Chuma, explained this confession, and I'm going to impact it strongly, that confession is so powerful than anything you may think. Every evil prophecy, they prophesy against you. They will say you will not be married. That is, that is human being. That's not God who said so. It is a lie from the devil. Any, any false report from the doctor, the doctor has given you a few days to live. That's a liar. That's not from God. Anything that is happening to you, that you are a failure, that is a lie. That is not from God. Anything the enemy is talk, saying against you, that is a lie. That is not from God. In the book of uh, uh, Psalms 143, verse 7. In the book of Psalms 143, verse 7, the Bible says, Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth, hide not the face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down unto the pit. So David is still saying, God, hear me speedily, O oh Lord, my spirit faileth, hide not the face. Don't let Lord God not hide your face, it's your father. Tell God, memorize my father, do not hide your face. I am here. I am here, your daughter, your son. I need you speedily. Hear me speedily, my father. I need speedily here. Hear me, my father, speedily in the name of Jesus. Hear me speedily in the name of Jesus. My God, you are God. Hear me speedily. Do not hide your face from me. If you hide my face from me, I will go down with the beat. My father. Do not hide your face. I am here before you. Lord, forgive me anything that I've done against you that would make you to hide your face. You know, when you do evil, when you are doing something bad, God hides his face because he doesn't want to see it. So you ask God, God, please don't hide your face. Look at me. I need speedily. I need you, Lord. Hear me speedily in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah 58, verse 8, the Bible says, Then shalt thou light break forth as the morning, and thy and the healthy shall spring forth speedily, and their righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the reward. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Isaiah 58, verse 8. The Bible says, Then shall the light break at forth as the morning, and they healthy shall split forth speedily, and the righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the reward. The glory of the Lord shall be your, your, your reward in the name of Jesus. Then shall the light break forth as the morning, that, that and the healthy shall split forth speedily. You ask God you are healthy, about your health. The glory of the Lord shall be the reward in the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Father, that the glory shall be my reward. The glory of the Lord shall be the reward in the name of Jesus. Luke 18, verse, verse 8. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
personalize the scripture and confess them. Powerful deliverance that you can do to your life in the name of Jesus. Luke 18 verse, verse 8, the Bible says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The Lord will avenge your enemies speedily. God is a God of vengeance. He avenges. You don't need to avenge your enemies. That's why Jesus said, pray for them. Just don't, don't worry about your enemies. God will avenge them. God will deal with them according to his word. So the, the, the prayer that you can confess and pray that, Father, avenge my enemies. Speedily, God. You are a God who can avenge them, not me, God. I don't know how to avenge them, but you are the one who can avenge my enemies. Speedily, in the name of Jesus. Let your enemy be paralyzed and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the Almighty God avenge your enemy that is tormenting you day and night, that has taken everything from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Yes, my God. Yes, 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 sister. You get it. In the name of Jesus, we thank God that God will avenge your enemy speedily. Friday, we saw a lot of deliverance. Many deliverance happened to on Friday. Speedily avenge. The Lord will avenge your enemy speedily. In Psalms 10, verse 2. Psalms 102, verse 2. Psalms 102, verse 2. The Bible says, Hide not the diverse from me in that day when I am in trouble. Clink the ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me. Yes, I did not. I did not the face from me in the day when I'm in trouble. Father, do not hide your face when I am in trouble. Are you in trouble? Are you in trouble? When you are in trouble, the Father, ask the Father, Father, I am in trouble. Do not hide your face because the Father can hide your face when you are in trouble if you are doing wrong things. But you are make you build that relationship. The Lord will deliver you in time of trouble. The, the, the Bible says, yeah, Clink the ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me. The Lord will answer you for sure. The Lord will never leave you and abandon you. This is the deliverance of ours that we need and ask the Father to clink his ears in the name of Jesus. In time of trouble, he will answer you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My sister, my sister, Takwa, my sister, ego anointing. When you call God in time of trouble, she, he answered you. He answered you when you needed him. He heard you and answered you, my sister. The Lord will hear you in time of trouble. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. Let us look in the book of uh, uh, Papira, book from the book of Jeremiah 11. Look at God. God. God has everything. He has planned good for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us look at the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The Lord Almighty, your Father, He knows the thoughts you have. He has good things for you. He planned things, good, good things for you. Not things to destroy you. He's your father. He loves you and he wants to give you the best. That's why he said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The Lord knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Towards you. Good stuff, good things. And not evil. God does not think anything evil to your life. God has not made you to be barren because God has said there is no barren woman. I have seen a 64 woman giving birth. I have seen 65 women giving a birth, giving birth. I have seen a 50 woman giving birth. So there is no barren woman. This week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are going to pray for, for the, 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 the fruit of the womb. We will see God is going to open many women around the world. Many, many, many women, even those who use our, our website, YouTube, 
wherever media. God is going to touch their home. I am going, we have, I have so almost 700, I, I have almost 70 prayers, and I will make sure that I will pray them, all of them. Thank you, Jesus. God has plan, good plans. The devil said you will not give birth, that you have no hate, that you have, you have everything has been destroyed. That is, the, that is the devil. That is not God. You will give birth and you will have your baby. You will hold a baby with your two hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. The devil said you will never be married. That is a lie. It is not from God. It is from the devil. You will be married. I have seen a 75 woman did a wonderful wedding. A big, big wedding here in Brampton. In Toronto, not, not Brampton, in Mississauga. A woman of 75 years wedding a very colorful wedding. Wedding. A woman has been a widow for many, 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 many years. Now, seven, at the age of 75, the woman got married with a wonderful man of God, a very powerful and a great wedding. So you shall be married in the name of Jesus. Let's look at the book of Psalms 56, verse 9. The Bible says, When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. When you cry, Hallelujah. When you cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know for God is for me. When you cry to God, the enemy will turn back. Because God is with you. Because God is with me. This is not a joke. This is powerful deliverance. This is deliverance. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Let's look in the book of Malachi 4, verse 2. But unto you that feared my name shall the son of the righteousness arise with the healing in, in, in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as a, as a covenant of the stone. You see, this, the, 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 uh, the righteous rushes with healing in his wing. Are you looking for healing? Are you looking for healing? But unto you that fear my name, if you fear the name of the Lord, if you fear the name of the Lord, people they don't fear the name of the Lord. People, they, many people they don't fear God. That's why if you fear God, you must fear sin. If you fear God, you must live righteousness. The Bible says, but unto you that fear my name, shall, shall the son of righteousness rise with, with, with healing in his wings and he shall go forth and grow up as a covenant of the stale. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the, that, that, that the wing, the wing of God, the healing wing, wings of God shall fall upon you and you shall be healed in the name of Jesus. It shall open your home. It shall touch anywhere that you are sick, that you have been affected in Jesus' name. In the, in the book of Galatians, Galatians, Galatians 3, Galatians 3, verse 13 and 14. The Bible says, Christ had redeemed us from the curses of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promises of the Spirit through faith. So, the Bible said Jesus has taken the curses and the hand and he has nailed them in the cross in the name of Jesus so that we can get the blessings of Abraham on the Gentile through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit by faith. We, we are the children of Abraham. We are the grandchildren of Abraham. So the blessings of Abraham may fall upon you. The blessings of Abraham will fall upon me. Let the blessings of Abraham fall upon us in the name of Jesus. As we claim and the promises that God has promised us. My God, I thank you that Jesus has taken every curse. We should not live under the curses. Therefore, I stand against every curse that is working against your life. I break them and I destroy them because Jesus Christ has taken them. We receive the blessings of Abraham. The blessings that Abraham has promised. God has promised us. The promise of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. My God, I thank you, my Father. I bless your name. I give you thanks, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's look at another scripture. From the book of Colossians. Colossians 2, verse 14 to 15. Colossians 2, verse 14 to 15. The book of Colossians 2, verse 14 to 15. The Bible says, Protting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he took it out of the way, kneeling it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, trembling over them, and over them in it, in the name of Jesus. Prodding out and the writing of ordinance, Anything that has been written to you by the devil. You know, many people say it was written like that. It was written like that. That is a lie from the devil. Jesus has wept them. Jesus has removed them. Anything that has been written for, from, for you, that you, that people say it was written for me like that. Let me be like that. That's a lie. That's not God. It is not written. That's not God has written like that. The Bible has said he has put out and writing of ordinance that was against us. Any evil and writing, any evil written against you, I command them to be wept by the blood of Jesus. Because Jesus has wept them, Jesus has kneeled them in the cross, having spoiled principalities and powers. He made every evil principalities, all powers of darkness, that he has nailed them and bring them down in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Children of, of, of God, don't live under bondage saying that because it was written like that, nothing was written for you. Jesus has taken them away by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. In the book of Matthew 8 verse 17, the book of Matthew 8 verse 17, the Bible says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by, uh, by, uh, by Isaiah. Isaiah, the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmity and bare our sickness. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Isaiah said that many years, Jesus will come and take our infirmity and sickness so, so that you can be free. When you are being tormented, you have been sick. That is not God. It is from the devil. It is not God who has put the sickness there. It, the sickness is from the devil because it is written that Jesus Christ will take, will take, will take our infirmities and, and repair our sickness. This is what the, the Bible says. Isaiah, Matthew 8, verse 17. Yes, Lord, thank you, my God. In the book of Romans 16, verse 20, the Bible says, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. And the, and the peace of, of, and the Lord of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Shortly, the grace of our Lord Jesus, the Lord will bring Satan under your feet and you will trumpet them and you will break the head of the devil. You will break it. You will stumble on them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we have been given power against serpent and scorpion. Nothing by all means tormenting you. Every serpent and scorpion that is working in your life, I destroy them. I command them to die. I melt them by fire. Serpent that is eating your organs. That is eating your blood. When you are going to attend your periods, the python and the serpent, they come into your home and they start enjoying that blood that you need to come normal. It, it causes you pain and you cry, you feel sick. That is the demon that God has given us power to trample on them and scorpion and nothing by all means hurt you in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the book of Matthew 3 verse 10, the Bible says, Now also the earth is laid unto the roots of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruits is hence down and cast unto the fire. Every tree that brings that brings not forth good fruits is hence down and cast unto the fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil tree, every 
any satan did really plant it in your life let the fire of god to cut it from the roots and and destroy it in jesus name i pray that we have roofed every satanic tree any evil tree that does not bring any good fruits let it be chopped let it be uprooted from the roots in the mighty name of jesus yes lord i pray the blood of jesus in first john 3 verse 8 first john 3 verse 8 the bible says for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil in the name of jesus i command every works of the devil according to john 3 8 the Bible says Jesus has destroyed you. Therefore, no works of the devil will survive, will work in my life. I destroy them. I bring the blood of Jesus. Jesus has destroyed every works of the devil in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody that has been tormented, that has been troubled. I pray that Jesus Christ will destroy anything that is working against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 4 verse 18. Hallelujah. The book of 2 Timothy 4 verse 18. The Bible says, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and he will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be the glory forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Listen, people of God. Children of God, listen. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be the glory forever and ever. The Lord shall deliver you from every evil work, every evil work of the devil, the Lord will deliver you. Every evil work, every evil work in your life from the devil, let God himself destroy them in the name of Jesus. I pray, we are not going to look in the book of Deuteronomy, we are meditating powerful prayer deliverance, confession. Personalize them. You have to personalize all this scripture if you need your breakthrough. Let us look at the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 14 to 15. The Bible says, Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be a male or a female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away the all sicknesses all sicknesses and they will put none of the evil diseases of egypt which thou knowest upon the upon thee but will lay them upon all that hates you the lord will take every sickness and lay down those who those who hate you this is the word of god the lord has said no female or male shall be buried among you among overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry, no woman or a man will be barren. No man, everyone will be free from sickness. You shall receive your healing. You will be totally free. Cancer will die. HIV will die. Every, every complicated sickness will die, will be furnished by fire. Look what is Jesus, what, what, what the Bible says. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Here is confirmation. God has confirmed that he will take all sickness and diseases and he will put it to those who hate you because they are the ones belong to that sickness. You don't belong to the sickness. Therefore, believe the word of God and you shall be healed in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28 verse 4 and we look verse 11. We, we, can, we, we see verse 4 and verse 11. The Bible says, Blessed shall be the fruit of the body the fruit of the ground and the fruit of the cattle, the increase of the kingdom and the flocks of the sheep. Verse 11. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous, plenteous in goods, in the fruits of the body and in the fruits of the cattle and in the fruits of the ground, in the land which the Lord sweared unto thee, fathers to give thee. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to increase your wages. The Lord is going to increase you with good jobs. The Lord is going to bless you because he has promised you. In the name of Jesus, you will have plenteous, plenteous, plenteous a lot where you cannot have a place to keep it. The Bible says, 
test me. I will open windows of heaven and point the blessings that you cannot have the place where to keep it. Are you, are you receiving the blessings of God? That's why you need to fall overcome as deliverance and healing ministry. That's why you need to give the, the, our, our ministry. Then the Lord will open windows of heaven and boil down your blessings. Because God will take away sickness. No sickness will take your money. You cannot go to pay doctors, drugs, lawyers for, because of this sickness. God will save your money and the money will bring you, you, you will have plenty. Windows of heaven will open for you. Glory, 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 glory be the name of Jesus. Then the Lord will bless you. When you fall overcome as a deliverance and healing ministry, you give your tithes and offering faithfully. The Lord will open windows of heaven, will open good jobs for you. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. The Bible is very clear and it has said and it will do so for you in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Exodus. I'm telling you we are going to confess thousands and thousands of scriptures in the Bible. It must work for you. Exodus 23 verse 26. The Bible says, There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in the land. The number of the days I would profile. The number of your days, you, it shall be fulfilled. You shall not die premature. You shall not die young. You will die when your days is fulfilled. You will die 120 years. Anything want to kill you before your time shall die in Jesus' name. You shall not die but live to declare the words of God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, they, sh they shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in the land. The number of the days I would be filled. Your child will not die. No one will kill your child in the name of Jesus. Enemy that wants to destroy your children will not be destroyed because the scripture says there shall not nothing cast their young nor be barren in the land. The number of the days I will fulfill. You shall not be barren. Nothing. You will not be barren. My dear friends, if you feel that you are looking for the fruit of the womb, this is your time you join us. Join us. God will open your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalms 115 verse 14, Psalms 115 verse 14, the Bible says, The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. The Lord will increase more and more, you and your children, in the name of Jesus. Let God increase more and more, you and your children, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The wife shall be, uh, Psalms 120, Psalms 126, Psalms 128, verse 3. Psalms 128, verse 3. The Bible says, The wife shall be as a fruitful, as a fruitful fan by the side of the house. The children like Oliver planted around about that table. You will be the wife of the wife. You will be the wife. Your husband, the wife, shall be as a fruitful fan by the side of the house. The children like Oliver planted around about thee because you will have children. You will be the wife of your husband. Your husband will have a wife with the children. The children, the children like Oliver planted around about the table. Your children will be like Olive. Olive planted around about the table. That is a blessing of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Timothy 2 verse 15, the Bible says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in child-pairing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with, with sobriety. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be saved with child-pairing. There will be no barren among us, among overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry. You will continue faith and charity and holiness. You will bless, God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. In 1 John 4 verse 4, the Bible says, in 1 John 4 verse 4, ye, ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them, because great is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. You are overcomers. You have come the world, because great is he that is, that, that is in you, than that is in the world. You, you have great physician. You have great God than the God of the world. The devil has no power. You have great God. He who is in you is greater 
other than who is in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. The book of Philippians 4, verse 19. The book of Philippians 4, verse 19. The Bible says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord will supply all your needs according to his glory and riches. Are you blocked? Do you need to finance or breakthrough? The Lord Almighty, God of overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry, God of Christine will supply all your needs according to his glorious and riches in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. In the book of uh, 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 Psalms 4, verse 8, verse 1 to 8, this is the book that we are going to pray. Then we go straight away to the, our prayer point. Our ma, uh, our machine gun prayer bullet. This is the last one. Are you ready? Let's go. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Psalms 4 verse 1 to 8. Yes. The Bible says, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enriched me when I was in, trust, in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. O oh, ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after rest, after rising after racing? But know that the Lord had set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in the hall and sin not. Command with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will stand, who will show us any good? Lord, lift the, thee, thou up the light of thee continents upon us. Thou hast put grandness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makes me dwell in safety. Jesus is Lord of over my spirit. Jesus is Lord over your spirit, soul and body. For the word of God tells you that at the name of Jesus, every kneel shall bow. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. You can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. The Lord is your servant, is your serpent. You shall not want. Jesus has delivered you from the powers of darkness and he has translated you into the kingdom of his dear son. In Jesus you have redeemed through his shedding blood and also forgiveness of sins. Jesus has brought out the underwriting of oddness that was against you, which was contrary to you, and took it out of the way, kneeling it to his cross. And you are your body of Christ. You are redeemed from the curses because Jesus bare your physical and spiritual diseases in his body. You have the mind of Christ and hold the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of his heart while laying your hands on your womb or on your chest. You pray like this. Those people, if you are a woman, hold your, your hands on your womb and your breast. Pray that the prayer that I'm going to pray for you. And I will pray everyone, everyone we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord for his power to deliver you, to deliver any form of bondage. Thank God for his power to deliver you from any form of bondage. You confess the sins of your ancestors. You risk them. You know you confess them. You ask God to forgive you, to forgive the sins of your ancestors, the sins of your forefathers, the, your sins. You ask God to forgive you in the name of Jesus. You confess the sins. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. Lord, I give you the glory, Jesus. Glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Father. I give you the glory. This is wonderful. Oh, Lord, for let God forgive you all ancestral sins in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord would forgive you all sins in the name of Jesus. I pray every sin 
of your ancestors working against you, crying against you. Let God forgive you in Jesus' name. I ask the Lord forgiveness. Ask God to forgive you every sin in the name of Jesus. All the sins of your forefathers. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to forgive those who do not know about you. That is are causing troubles and cursing you and fighting you. Ask God to forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. Hallelujah. Let the, let the loose glory of family line be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the lost glory of the family line be restored to your life unto you in the name of Jesus. I pray that every lost glory of your family, the family has lost glory. Let it be restored. Let it be restored back to your life, to your family, in the name of Jesus. Let the power in the blood of Jesus Christ separate you from the sins of your ancestors. Let the power in the blood of Jesus Christ separate you from the sins of your ancestors. You are not a pattern person that the ancestors are following you. Generational curses are following you. Jesus Christ has destroyed them. Therefore, I pray, let the power in the blood of Jesus Christ separate you from the sins of your ancestors in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I place, I place a war fire around you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I place the, 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 the war of fire around you in the name of Jesus. No evil, no powers of darkness will penetrate the, the war of fire around you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the ministering angels will surround you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the ministering angels will surround you in the name of Jesus. I renounce any evil dedicated dedication pressed upon your life when you are a baby or wherever it is in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every indicate and ordination in the name of Jesus Christ. I take back everything the enemy has stolen from your life in the name of Jesus. I command everything the enemy has stolen from your life. I command them, I, I command them to return them in Jesus' name. I am praying for you right now. In the mighty name, everything the enemy has taken from you, enemy, anything enemy has stolen from you, I pray that the Lord Almighty will enforce that enemy, that will form it and bring back everything they have taken from you. You are time to have wasted. All the time you have been, no, you are not been working. All the time you have been sick. I command the devil by the power and the blood of Jesus to pay you back in Jesus' name. The devil must pay you back all the time he has wasted you by fire. You shoot the arrows at the heart of the enemy. That has been wasting your time until they pay you back. The Bible says God will pay you double. You will be paid double. He, 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 they will form it, everything they have, been, they, have been, they, have been, they have been stealing from you in Jesus' name. I counsel all of, all of visions, dreams, words, curses contrary to conception and child bearing in your in your in your life in Jesus name i cancel every satanic dreams visions words curses contrary to conception and 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 child bearing in your life in Jesus name those who need children i pray that god would see you through in Jesus name i command every negative imagination against your child bearing to be cast down in Jesus name i am praying for you those people who are looking for children. This prayer is deliverance, confession to everyone. Maybe you, are, you, you have children, thank you. But there are some people who are crying who need children. So if this prayer is not for you, praise God, but pray for, pray for, for on behalf. Be con point of contact for people who are child -peerless, uh, uh, childless in the name of Jesus. Lord, Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing power flow into every area of your body, relevant to con 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 conception and child pairing in the name of Jesus. God, which wakens the dead, waken ever con concerning your conception and child pairing in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I bind blunder and lender, not every spiritual activity, Activity contrary to the peace of your home in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty, I chase back all stubborn pursuers and cut off 
every unprofitable family covenant in the name of Jesus. Every family covenant, I cut them off. I command, I cut them off. I just back all stubborn pursuits and cut off every unprofitable family covenant in your life in Jesus' name, in your family in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, I pray, oh God, let this year, have here, before the end of this year, a month of, um, a, a year, this month that is remaining, be the month of the miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let, let your womb be patched by the fire of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. That's why I said, women, you can hold your womb and say, my womb be patched by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Yes, let all evil hands be removed from the affairs of your life in Jesus' name. I pray, let all evil hands be removed from the affairs of your life in Jesus' name. I am praying that let every evil hands be removed from affairs. Let every affairs that you have, let evil hands be removed in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you. I break every covenant with the any sexual demon in the name of Jesus. I break every covenant with any sex demon in your life. Sex demon that is coming coming to you while you are sleeping. They have a sex on with you at, when you are sleeping. I command them to be destroyed. I break them. I cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of your dog and cast it out of your ways in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of your dog Spirit of a dog, get out of this person. I cast them and I bind them from, uh, from your ways in Jesus' name. Let the head of the every serpent, every serpent power fashioned against you be broken in Jesus' name. I am praying for you. Let the head of every serpent power fashioned against you be broken in Jesus' name. Let the head of every marine power fashioned against you be broken in Jesus' name. Let every evil trade directing your affairs be revised in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, my sister. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, uproot evil things from your life. Let God uproot every evil things in your life in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, plant good things. I pray that let God plant good things in your life. Let God plant good things in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel every unconscious negative agreement in the name of Jesus. Every satanic, every satanic conscious or a negative agreement. You met an agreement unconscious or conscious. Some people are suffering in the some of the churches. They make mistakes to make a covenant with the pastors, with the church, thinking that that is good. After covenant, then they can't come out because they, I was praying with a the lady. They, they want to kill the lady. But because I know deliverance and I told the lady, you shall not die, I will break that conference. Curses that blessed me on you. Because of unconscious or conscious uh, agreement that people made without their knowledge. So I break them. I break them. I break them in the name of Jesus. Any curse, Anything that you, you agreed without your knowledge, unconscious or conscious agreement, negative, I break them into pieces in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, Lord, make you a sharp, a sharp battle, a, a, a sharp battle axe in the name of Jesus Christ. We are continuing praying. This video is going to be wrong, but it's going to deliver you. You can pray this video when you are, you are distressed. When you need help, you can pray it over and over. It is, it is a deliverance uh, video. So it is going to, to deliver you in Jesus' name. That's why I will take even one and a half hour to make sure that I prayed over you all these prayer points that I have. So let every spiritual wickedness in, in your life receive, receive termination in the name of Jesus. Let it receive termination in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every financial failure in your life, receive termination in the name of Jesus. Let every financial failure receive termination in the, in the name of Jesus. Let every sickness in your life receive termination in the name of Jesus. Let every architect or problem receive termination in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you, 
by the power in the blood of Jesus. Refuse to rape any satanic harvest in any area of your life. Refuse to rape any satanic harvest in any area of your life in Jesus' name. Paralyze all spiritual wolves working against your life in the name of Jesus. Paralyze all spiritual wolves working against your life in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual wolves, I command them to be paralyzed against your life in the name of Jesus. I paralyze all the spiritual wolves working against you in the name of Jesus. They are satanic wolves wearing a, a, a goat's skin, but inside they are wolves. They are a hina, so that I destroy them wherever they are hiding in the name of Jesus Christ. That which hinders you from greatness began to give way now in the name of Jesus. That which hinders you from greatness began to give way now in the name of Jesus. Every imprisoned and buried poten potentialness come forth now in the name of Jesus. I pray that God co command and friend, I command all unfriendly elders in every area of your life be departed in the name of Jesus. We have an, 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 an friendly elders. We have people pretend to be your friends. They want to help you, but at night they are animal. At night they are witchcraft. So I command all unfriendly helpers in every area of your life be departed in the name of Jesus. I command unfriendly friends, helpers in every area of your life be departed in the name of Jesus. My God, I praise your name. I render narrow and avoid the effect of any interact interaction with the satanic agents moving around as men in the name of Jesus. All those, those satanic interaction with the satanic agents, they are moving around as men, and they are not men, they are spirits, they are demons. They are moving around looking for women and men to deceive you. Maybe in the in Facebook or or in your email, you have been receiving some some letters saying that I have thousand millions. I need your account. I need you to help me. Those are spirits. Those are not human beings. They are demons from the pit of hell. They are running round, round, round to get people to deceive them. In the name of Jesus, I command them to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I pull down the stronghold of evil strangers in ev in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, I pull every strange. Every stronghold in, in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any negative trans transactions currently affecting your life negatively be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every negative transactions currently affecting your life negatively be cancelled. Anything affecting your life negatively be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the dark works done against you in secret to be exposed and narrowed in Jesus' name. Anything that is done in the dark, in secret, anything the enemy is planning against you in darkness, in secret, let them be narrowed and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I lose you. I, I lose you, you from any and a dark spirit in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all incarnations against you be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let all incarnations, spares and chants against you be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let all incarnations against you be cancelled. Every satanic, every incarnation, spares, chants against you be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in defeated this moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for you. This is deliverance and healing ministry that you need to be delivered by the power and the blood of Jesus. I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in, in defeat this moment in Jesus' name. You know some people, they are being oppressed at work. They have been treated so bad. So I command them, I command those oppressors to be retreat and free in defeat this moment in Jesus' name. Victoria, the, my sister, my daughter from England, Victoria, has a testimony. How she was oppressed by her worker, her managers. After the prayer, the managers was, were disgraced. 
and silenced. She has a testimony. I tried to, to get her, but I was not able to find her. And my sister, another sister from England, she has a testimony. God healed her. She was bleeding like 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 like, like slaughtered goat or, or animals. She could not hold the bleed. She had been bleeding nonstop. The doctor could not be able to, to heal her. She would give a testimony. I tried also to get in touch with her, but I wasn't able to get her. I, I, and she would come up, or I would record her, her testimony. She is giving a live testimony. My sister, Takwa, she has a living testimony. Yes, because of the oppressor. She was being oppressed. She could not sleep. She was thinking, what is next? But the oppressor were dis disgraced and, and they were defeated in Jesus' name. When you pray these prayers, when you say a big amen, as I'm praying for you, your oppressors will retreat and flee in defeat this moment in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. My sister from England who was healed by, with the blood, you can say amen so that people can see you. Even Victoria, if you are there, I, I'm not seeing, I, I don't know if Victoria is there. All my, my sister April, if we stare, she can say a big amen because God has healed, God has done miracles to them. I bind every strong man having your goods in his possession. In the, yes, she's there. You can see the one who's saying amen, amen. She's the one who was healed from blood. She was, the blood was flowing, was flowing so hard. Yes, my sister, I need you. I called you yesterday, but you were busy. I think you were busy. Anyway, I need you to record the, the testimony or I will call you to, to say this testimony. Maybe tomorrow if you are not busy. In the name of Jesus. I break the curses of automatic fairy working upon your life in Jesus' name. I break F the curses of automatic fairy working upon your life in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, honestly speaking, Friday, on, on Friday, a lady came to our meeting. I saw a lady on the on, 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 on the on, on the on the way, on the road. She was just there looking down and she was like she has hopeless. She has failed. She doesn't have any hope. Now when I look at her, I talked to her, I told her sister, I see the spirit of death on you, but God is good. I am a, I am a prophetess and I can help you to help to pray for you. Let's go to, to prayer. She followed me. She came there. She was hopeless. She tried even to escape from the meeting many times. But by the grace of God, she stayed after the, after the deliverance time. She was delivered from the spirit of suicide. She told me that she was going to commit suicide that evening. She, was telling, she told me that she had planned to go and commit suicide. She was uh, chatting her, her cell phone to send a message to their family. And leave that she would die. But the God of overcomers, the God that we serve, saved her life. People who are there, there was, there, there was people. People who are there, they can be my witness. If you are there in the periscope, say amen. That lady, the lady, the lady you saw, you know that lady. In the name of Jesus, we thank God. So I break curses of automatic failure working upon your life in Jesus' name. There is, a, so there is what we call automatic failure. The curses that has met people, they fail, they can't do anything. They feel like now let them die. All you have lose, you lose everything. You lose your house, your business, your husband, everything you are doing. You have nothing. So you feel like there is nothing I can do. I have to kill myself. Let me tell you that God is able. God is able to break every curse of automatic failure working upon your life in Jesus' name. I pray that God will destroy every curse working against your life in Jesus' name. Let the anointing to prosper for mightly on you now in Jesus' name. I pray let the anointing to of prosperity fall upon on you now. I am praying for you in the name of Jesus. I pray your work is to say amen. I am praying, let the anointing, anointing to prosper you, fall upon you mightily in the name of Jesus. Let it pour upon you now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Let every and progress altar fashioned against you be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every and progress altar fashioned against you be destroyed with the fire of God in the name of Jesus. I command 
I command your destiny began to change for the best in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I command your destiny to begin to change from the best in the name of Jesus. I ask the, your destiny to begin to change. To change. For, to, to change for the best right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let, let your hand begin become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in your life in Jesus' name. I pray let your hand become the sword of fire to cut down every demonic trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let the, stamp, let the stamping of, of your feet stomp. <laughs> let the, the stomping of your feet defeat the camp of the enemies. As you are stomping of your feet, defeat the camp of the enemies in the name of Jesus. All opposing evil powers dedicated against you, be silenced in the name of Jesus. I command all posting evil powers dedicated against you, be silenced in, the, in Jesus' name. I would throw all of your benefits from the hands of the oppressors, all of your benefits, all of your benefits in the hands of your oppressors. I would throw them. I would throw them. Enemy that is holding your finances, enemy that is holding your money, that they don't want to release them. Your oppressors is keeping your benefit, is keeping your money. They don't want to release your money. I commanded them by the power and the blood of Jesus, by fire, to release them in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, all those bosses, they have refused to release your money, your pension, the money that you worked for. The enemy is sitting on them. Let the fire of God start burning them. Let them be burned until they reach this man in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Father. Let all unprofitable marks in your life be erased in the name of Jesus. There is mark of, uh, of unprofitable marks in you that you will never achieve anything. You will never do anything. You cannot make any profit. You work, 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 but nothing you bring the table. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let every power chasing blessings away from you, any power chasing your blessings away, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Any power chasing your blessings away, let them be paralyzed. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I am praying that God Almighty will destroy any power chasing your blessings away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the enemy begin to vomit Every good things they have eaten up in your life in the name of Jesus. Let the enemy begin to form it. Every good things they have eaten in up in your life in Jesus. Let them form it. Let them form it everything. Let them form it your children. Let them, let them form it your money in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Every good things the enemy has swallowed. I command them to form it them. Start formating them. Form it everything you have taken in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, I bleed the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, give power to overcome every obstacle to, to your breakthrough. I pray that let God give you power to overcome every obstacles of your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And the power that, you, that is all in you to overcome. Let God give you power to overcome every obstacles of your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break all curses of leakage blessings in the name of Jesus. Every power, every every curse, all curses, I break them of leakage blessings. That curses, that is leakage. When you get the blessings, the whole, there is a leakage. So the, the leakage, it takes out your blessings. So it cannot hold your blessings. The moment you get the blessings like this, there is a leakage. It melts, it, it neutralizes and you remain empty. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I clear your goods from the warehouse of the strong man in the name of Jesus. I clear your goods from the strong, the strong man of, 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 of your warehouse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, people of God. You know you have the answer. Yes, Lord. Let all satanic kingdoms working against you fail in the name of Jesus. Every satanic kingdom working against you, let it fail in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let all hidden arrows in your life be troubled 
in the hindering places in Jesus' name. I pray, let all hinder hidden arrows, let all hidden arrows in your life be troubled in the hiding places in Jesus' name. Where they are hiding to shoot you, let them start trouble. Let it trouble fall upon them in that hiding places and let them be troubled until they turn themselves and start shooting themselves in the name of Jesus. Instead of shooting you, they will turn the arrows to their heart and shoot themselves in Jesus' name. I frustrate and disappoint every instrument of the enemy fashioned against you in the name of Jesus. Yes. I frustrate and disappoint every instrument of the enemy fashioned against you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I dismantle, disarm every household enemy today in the name of Jesus. Every household enemies, I dismantle you, I disarm you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. My God, I want to thank you. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. God, I bless you. I give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, my God, my Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I seal this prayer with the precious blood in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, I honor you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to continue. Even if I make these videos to two, two hours, it is going to help you. But I have to stop here. I will continue. I am going to continue this, this, this program. So I will continue the prayer to pray for you. It is personalized prayer. Confession that you need deliverance. You have been, you've, you've been, you've been in one place for a long time. It is high time that you need these prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. This is your host. Prophetess Dr. Christine Siki saying bye bye to you. Go to our website www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca. God will bless you. This video is there. You can reach, you can get it and pray and replay, replay. And I'm going to edit it so that it can be short than this. So you can have it on your car anywhere. You can download, you can use whatever you want. I've given you permission. Therefore, people of God, freely given, freely give. Therefore, go to our website, donate an amount. If you need God of overcomers and the healing ministry to bless you, 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 the Bible does not lie. It says he would open windows of heaven and pour the blessings out, out to you. People who are following me, they, their life have not been the same again. When I tell you for us and for the direction that I'm asking you, you know, heaven is a narrow road. Heaven is a narrow road. It's very narrow road. When Nu was preaching, was telling people, God has told me, the flood is coming. Let us build the, the hack. The people were laughing. They think that Noah is mad. It's crazy. Noah continued building the hack until the hack was finished. He, only eight people were saved in that hack. In Sodom and Gomorrah, how many people were saved? Six people. So, it is the same thing. When I say there's people of God, heaven is a narrow road. Don't fall the cloud that will drive you to hellfire. Fall the right place. There is hellfire and there is heaven. People, they want to follow. They are being deceived. They want to follow deceiving spirits. They don't want to follow the truth. They, this is the truth that I'm giving you with all my heart. This is deliverance. You need the deliverance prayer. Even my sister, Takwa, he go anointed. She did not fall this preaching. She could be in Poland. She could even be prisoned. But since she started following, she was in the church before. They prayed, they prayed, nothing has happened. Until she joined us. Yeah? This lady, the, the one I'm telling you in, in England, if she continued in that place where she was following, she could not be healed after this time. She was having a lot of sickness. My sister, Dr. Rindia Joma, she has given her testimony. You have heard about it. She was ordained minister. She has been serving God many years. But the problem piled, 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 piled until she decided to follow overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry. Since she started following overcomers, her life has changed completely. You can be in the church with your problem. You have been having so much problem in your church. Change. You need to come out from that box. 
It is your high time to come out from the fox and change your prayer. Apostolic prayer of, pro of deliverance and healing. We are apostolic prayer. We, we pray deliverance prayer, prophetic and prophets, so that God can see you through. You have been in that box for a long time. Your problem has been filing. We serve a living God. We serve a God of Elijah who answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Stop living in the church of manipulation and controlling using witchcraft, Jezebel. The pastor going to get powers from Sakek and come to pretend that he is hearing from God. And yet it's a Sakek prayer he gets from witchcraft, from witch doctors, from devil. Because they can't hear from God. So they get help from the devil. And then people believe them and, and give them money. They continue getting rich and you are continuing poor. You, they continue uh, prosper and you are continue suffering. Stop that. Follow the right, the right, the right church. Follow the right ministry. Follow the right prayer. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.